Right, just to quickly start this uh, assembly guide of the Have Red project. Um, firstly, the fuselage. The um, area that um, I like to talk about is just where you score and where you, you tape the areas for where they fold. Um, basically, uh, there's a scored edge here and here, and here at the back of the tail, and here at the in, inner fuselage at both sides. Now, there's also um, a score on the opposite side at the tail here, so this is just so they flex back in. So, remember to score them on the opposite sides as the plans indicate. Now, the top uh, areas here, these are sort of like extra areas of. Uh, foam for when you when you do fold them over you don't need to tape these ones um, they're just like tabs so basically yeah what you'll do is you'll spot glue there and there and then you'll snap it over and then glue it back down it just adds a little bit of extra surface for when you're gluing it down and when you're gluing the plates on the top and also gives you the ability to sand the edge to a, a more of a rounded finish because there's more foam in place now that is uh, the first section which is the, the fuselage main body but I just wanted to go over them score marks so that you understand where you need to score and where you need to tape for the strength of the, the supports basically so uh, there's the first section. The next step really now is to uh, cut out the wing, the main wing that is. Um, with the wing you need to um, cut out the uh, carbon spar location and pick it out with a, a small uh, screwdriver uh, basically then you can either lay epoxy in the groove and drop your spar in or some other type of glue I also use UHU pour glue for this kind of thing um, also you'll need to cut out the ailerons uh, and also hinge them into tape using hinge tape um, on um, basically you do the slope cut on the edges so that's how you do the hinges on the ailerons um, so basically once you've done that um, you hold back from installing the KF2s on this yet uh, basically the next procedure is to mark the centre on both ends of the wing so I've just about to see there the, the centre marks on both edges of the wing then you bring your fuselage back into play um, I've also marked the centre of this location here so that's marked there uh, I've glued these tabs down now in place so they're glued now all around and basically the plan is now is I will lay epoxy glue in this area here and I will line up the the marks with the wing so uh, basically I will then slide the wing into place uh, once I've epoxy glued that bottom just try and do this one handed one second so then I will uh, obviously line up the marks there and then roughly at the back centre of that um, cut out there push the wing up so it butts up to this front edge there's, there's a little gap at the back um, so just note that uh, so the wing does butt up to the front edge here so once you've laid that into place there and lined up the score marks both sides no, sorry not score marks the markings both sides for centrally aligned uh, I put some weights on that there and uh, let the glue set so uh, I'll leave it as just on the, just that on this on this procedure, and I'll uh, go and glue this into place, and I will uh, speak to you in a minute. Right, for so the next step of the build, you're going to need the spine and the uh, spine spacer, and also the uh, nose top piece. So basically, first of all, you take the spine, you you score the the mark where the carbon spar location is. You pick that out with a screwdriver and uh, you then countersink the carbon spar gluing in place uh, as so so that's what you get there um, that's just for a bit of strength in the nose then you literally um, drop your your spine spacer uh, into the groove uh, so it's, it's slotted so you basically just drop that into place and you should have something that looks like so uh, basically from there then you bring the uh, fuselage back into play uh, then you uh, take your spine and there's a there's, you can see the cut out there that literally slots over the top of the wing uh, and it fits in the slot at the front there so it slots in there it fits over the front of the wing just here and there and then slots in to the back like so so you glue all these areas there, there, 
and then you should have something that looks similar to that uh, basically then you will then lay some glue under here you'll bring this nose up to touch the bottom, well, the bottom of the fuselage nose up to touch the spine uh, and then you'll also bring the sides in like so uh, so they, that will all pull together and you'll end up with a nose that looks something like that uh, then basically from that I don't know if I can do this in this position here but the the nose top will then slot in uh, basically up to that position there uh, it sort of slots in there like so and you pull the sides in and then it just simply bend and glue it down so you'll have a perfectly round nose you might need to just uh, take the foam and then just slowly um, with your fingers just try and like bend it a touch just to sort of like persuade it into position a little bit so you can put a little bit of a, a curve on the foam just helps a little bit for when you when you put it into position it drops down over the nose you can also do that with the bottom of the nose here as well but uh, in the next video you'll see how the noses come together I'll probably use mostly epoxy glue here for these glue joints maybe uh, hot glue on the nose for a quicker quicker fitment so that is the plan and uh, I'll show you how the nose comes together in the next uh, clip. Right, just a quick video to show the installation of the motor mount, uh, which is this cross member here. I've actually uh, gone forward a step on this, um, so it was a bit difficult me fitting in. So if, you're put, if it doesn't quite look like this now, don't worry, because this is the next step of inserting these top panels. But uh, basically, glue the, uh, hot glue the motor mount into place. You can splay these top panels out so you can get the sides of the motor mount in where it slots in there and there. Just hot glue in place pull the sides into level you could uh, place the uh, the top kind of uh, the top fuselage plate in place just so you've got the alignment make sure that lines up there so yeah just simply hot glue that cross member in place and there's your motor mount right now we have the build of um, the the nose section uh, basically just to show you how that all aligns up looks quite smooth um, once you uh, run some sandpaper over these edges there that'll uh, make a nice round rounded nose uh, so like I said I dropped this piece in here uh, sloped it down uh, hot glued in place and uh, it looks quite solid now the next procedure is to put the top plates on the fuselage uh, quite simple really first of all I put the uh, the middle uh, plate on which is like the top cover I presume so uh, epoxy glue or uh, uh, hot glue whichever you prefer really so that drops into place onto uh, that slotted section there uh, then also you have the front cover which slots on uh, that position there um, so again epoxy glue in place now the, the, the final cover is the tail cover uh, as you can see these are uh, flapping around at the minute we will uh, stabilize these up with a bit of uh, carbon in these areas later on but uh, at the moment you take your back uh, cover and uh, it's, it is the same length as the uh, the doubled up sections of foam there so you literally glue that on in place so you line it up with uh, the edge of uh, the doubled up section of foam here and here and uh, follow the angles down to the tail so it goes a little something like that now uh, I will say at this stage um, I am uh, playing around with thrust vectoring idea on this model uh, so at the minute uh, this tail is uncovered here because there's some flaps that have come up uh, to divert the air um, if this tail went right all the way to the back um, it would stop the, the flow of air so at the minute uh, that section is open um, but if thrust vectoring doesn't uh, prove worthwhile uh, on your set of plans this might be all the way to the back but uh, so um, at the moment though this is uh, how I'm uh, working with the model um, so hopefully thrust vectoring works yours will look exactly like this uh, like I say once you've glued this back on place um, in line with them two sections there uh, later on the, stab uh, the horizontal stabiliser will line up the back of the tail with these flaps here and also uh, we'll strengthen this area here with carbon to stop the, the wobbly flex bit um, but that will be in the next section anyway 
Right, this, this part of the video will show you the uh, horizontal stabiliser. Here it is now complete. Uh, basically, first of all, if you score out and pick out the uh, carbon tube location there for the support to add a bit of extra strength, so say score that with your Stanley knife, pick out a small screwdriver and countersink into place. Then cut out the, the horizontal, um, not the, the, the elevons at each end and also cut out the thrust vectoring in the middle. Um, you angle cut these surfaces and uh, line them with tape to get your, your movement and then basically what I've done then is I've, had, I've used a bit of um, control rod bent into like a U shape hot glued it what I did I laid this on a flat surface and hot glued this into place so when you have your elevon control you'll have your thrust vectoring control in the middle so that is the procedure there for that um, as I say I'm playing with thrust vectoring on this model so I don't know yet if that will be involved in the plans but if it works well that will be the procedure. Now to bring the plane, uh, the fuselage back into place, I'll try and show you how this fits in. So basically I have the carbon tube down, uh, this then should, horizontal stabiliser should then slot into place hopefully. I say that, I'm not actually trial fitted this yet so hopefully this will work. You might need to uh, cut these uh, areas a little bit more to make sure it slots in nicely but appears to have worked so hot glue that in place uh, then you want to uh, glue these down now what I'll probably do is I will glue these into place that doesn't really matter where your angle is for these tails where they go um, I did actually put the, uh, the bend in them because I didn't want them to come straight back and be too narrow so if you want to line them up roughly the center of that piece both sides maybe hot glue them or epoxy glue and you can stick uh, cocktail sticks in from that angle there and also the angle above hold them in place so do that both sides and then you'll have your horizontal stabilizer in place um, just a quick note on all the top surfaces I did use epoxy and I did uh, cocktail stick them to hold them into place and countersink them in just with the end of the, uh, the clippers so that's what I'll do next I will uh, glue that wing into place and then that will be your your elevons and your thrust vectoring sorted in the middle there. This is the reason why obviously I left this part of the tail uh, cut out. Uh, when you get your vertical stabiliser which will be on the next procedures to glue in, that will glue in just like so. Um, like I say this is going to be open but it just helps for the air to actually come out of the plane. Obviously if they had the tail on there there would be nowhere for the air to go so that's why I've had to leave that bit open but hopefully that should work quite nice and well. So. I might as well cover that in this step. You can then glue on the, the vertical stabiliser into position. So just hot glue that into position there. And there's also um, a doubler which goes into place, which is this part. Uh, hot glue around that and that fits on underneath there. So that just adds a little bit more support. So it just fits inside there. I don't know if you can see that on the, the plane. It just fits in there just adds a little bit more support to the vertical stabiliser so that is your next procedure of the build right now I just want to cover the canopy and the turtle deck uh, all these pieces have uh, angle cuts on the uh, the edges that the, the top surface glued to one second, I'm missing a couple of pieces so yeah we have angle cuts on the, the edge of the turtle deck on the top uh, angle cut on the, uh, the, the top edge which is uh, the rounded edge of the side basically what you'll do is you'll you'll manipulate this piece of foam slightly for a more of a contoured thing so if you just do this with your fingers you do start getting a bit of a bend in it don't do it too much or you will snap it so you just start encouraging a curve in it so you don't need to do that too much but the reason for the angle cuts is uh let's get this right so that way um the two angle cuts glue together so what i'd probably do in this procedure here, i'll half glue with hot glue there i'll line this up hold that into place while the glue cures just roughly to your angles that, the, that you've cut at the moment so it's probably 40, 45 degrees roughly then once that's dried I'll then glue the other half and then hold that into place while that cures and then um, on the other side then obviously I'll do the same that'll be a bit easier this time though because um, the, uh, the angle of the contour of the top will already be in place so that should move should uh, glue them there quite easily uh, so that's that'll be the turtle deck um, and the canopy exactly the same there's an angle cut on this rounded edge 
there's an angle cut on this top edge again I've uh, played with the foam just to get a bit of a curve in it so I've just started encouraging a curve into the foam and again half glue up to the center point there glue that into position with the the canopy yeah start at the back so because uh, there will be a bit of cut off at the front so glue into place up to about there holding into place all the glue cures glue the rest half and then you'll have something that comes together roughly like that uh, then as I say you'll end up trimming the front edge so uh, do that obviously on both sides and then uh, next video I'll show you uh, how the how they've turned out right a quick video to show you how the the turtle deck and the canopy have come together uh, so basically like I said I've half glue glue the side on then rest finish the glue that side they've actually gone together really well dead easy uh, then all you use at the end is the turtle deck and canopy spacer um, basically they're the same piece the same design because they do butt up to each other like so so you need to take that into account um, so basically yeah you uh, use a turtle deck and canopy space you might need to angle cut this spacer just to get it in nicely so hot glue pull the sides in and just hold it in place so you do get a bit of a contoured edge to it like that so there's your canopy uh, with the front trimmed off into place and uh, same for the uh, turtle deck at the back and um, spacer put in place like so so that's uh, how they work um, by the time you've sanded these off they'll be look nice and round it should work quite well so they will fit together something like so on the plane um, you'll see that later on right the next procedure is to take your side air intake so, so that is these pieces here cut to shape like so uh, first point I'd like to mention is the fact that um, you need to cut an angle cut on the top side so the top side is the one that uh, hasn't got the cut out for the wing so angle cut that top side so it uh, lies against the plane nicely as I'll soon show you basically what you have to do is uh, line the insides with uh, packing tape so you can fold them uh, so once you've done that you should end up with something like that uh, they basically then slot over the wing so you'll get, you'll get your plane slide that over the wing in place there and slide it all the way up to the fuselage like so and what you'll see when you'll turn over is that these will then slide up into a position that butts up to the, the underside of the fuselage so where there's, there's, a, there's a little bit of movement back and to but I think it, if you push this right up to the front here this should then slot in quite nicely to the flu fuselage like so so I would um, epoxy glue that in place under there on the wing to glue that into place like so pressed up against there so that's your first part of the procedure and so once they're up against there glued into place like so uh, as I said with that piece button up to the front of the wing there if you can just about see there and uh, so then basically what we do is then uh, with this angle cut then that lines up against the the fuselage body like so so uh, probably with a bit more packing tape once uh, you've got your positions you'll add a little bit of packing tape to the inside of these joints here but basically what you'll do is you'll put hot glue down the back seam there glue that to the fuselage there hot glue down this here and glue that onto the fuselage in place like so now this front end comes down and the bottom end comes up and that makes your side air intake like I said bit of packing tape in there once you've got that into position just to hold it into position um, and then what I would also do then is just spot glue a bit of hot glue into these joints here just for a bit of strength there there uh, and also on the inside here where the bottom of the air intake butts up to the, the side of the fuselage then you'll end up with a air intake which looks roughly something like so so I will do that procedure now and I will show you the results Right, just to quickly now go through the, the air intake on the plane. So this is what the air intake looks like when glued into place. So I say you've got this nice angle finish there. It butts up really smooth to the edge there. You might also want to put a little bit of hot glue over the top there as well, just to add a bit more security. But I've added it here, here, on the inside there as well. So it's uh, starting to take shape now. So that's the design now. Um, the next step I want to cover is the actual location of where the... Uh, battery, uh, speed controller and your receiver goes so that is these three pieces here so 
you take these three pieces as so uh, you hot glue them together just like that so that's one side uh, apply the other side uh, like so this also doubles up as a, a good handle grip for the plane for launching so you turn your model over uh, and in these two slots at the bottom that's where this slots into place so you hot glue that into place there uh, what I'll show you in a later video is I normally I countersink the receiver in this area here just cut a square out add a little bit of velcro to the bottom countersink that receiver in there so it's so it's out of the way uh, what I might also do is cut some recesses in here and have a, a piece of foam maybe on a, a tab and um, just to add a bit of protection over the top of the receiver uh, what I will have there is from the motor why does it come up from the motor there the, I have a speed controller there, receiver there and battery up the front here to balance out the centre of gravity so as I say it doubles up as a good hand grip there as well uh, really good for launching so glue that in place, hot glue is probably your best there um, so that's it, so then basically once you're at this stage uh, just the final steps now KF2 airfoils they literally line up in place there and uh, glue into place so spray glue them probably probably the best methods same with the other side as well hot glue um, spray glue them into place and uh, they just butt up to there might need a little bit of a trim into the line up perfectly with the fuselage but uh, let's take the edge off there maybe or well, maybe it would actually bend in a touch the actual uh, the, the actual plane itself does actually actually cave in a little bit there so maybe I will actually just push that into place there so it does give you that little effect uh, I might add a little bit of hot glue to that seam there as well so as I say you've got the hand launch and the the area for the receiver and the uh, ESC and the battery below so that's that installed install the KF2 spray glue and then simply to finish off the plane hot glue the canopy into place and hot glue the uh, turtle deck into place so they roughly go around there um, I suppose you could actually say the canopy butts up to that edge there like the canopy the turtle deck hot glue that down and then hot glue the canopy into place and there basically is your completed plane uh, so I will carry on the videos now with uh, some uh, servo setups on this plane and uh, show you some of the, the final build uh, results so basically just quickly show you the the completed build now where uh, just pending a few little uh, bits to finish off I just need to glue these on in place and uh, then I'm ready but I've installed the servos uh, with the servos I use the RC powers f117 method there with the uh, for the elevon control so basically one servo each side so then we have one side and there we have the other so this also controls off the top control uh, horn there it also has a push rod on to the elevons at the back uh, and obviously the elevons control the thrust vector in so it's all done off two servos so it'll be double pitch double roll now I've not completed the uh, the control rods in the manner that I would like at this time I'm just sort of playing around with configurations I might still yet use uh, some of the silicon tubing with the uh, piano wire inside to control that so I can get that tighter back to the frame and a bit more of a smoother movement but at the moment this is what I'm going to try I've got my microjet equivalent motor installed so basically this is the setup as it is now just to quickly show you the servos in action so you pitch and uh, you roll so it's a little bit uh, not moving quite freely as I want it yet so I will tweak this around a bit yet um, but basically if I just turn it over uh, one other feature that uh, I'm thinking of changing a little uh, is the back here where the thrust vectoring is uh, I might cut this foam back here uh, up to the carbon spar just to have a little less foam in the prop wash uh, which will then uh, you'll only have your thrust vectoring method so another way of showing you the thrust vectoring here how it works so should make for quite a good plane should be quite interesting to see what happens with the the maiden fly to this uh, looking forward to seeing the thrust vector in work and uh, basically just to finish off uh, that is the the setup that I'll be using so hope you enjoy the plans hope you enjoy the build and uh, please post your videos of your flights and your build of this and uh, enjoy basically